guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about how I became a flight attendant. Um, I've had a couple of people asking me like how did you become a flight attendant? What made you want to be a flight attendant? So I'm going to go over all that and I'm going to give you the details on everything. So before we get into this video though, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So the way I became a flight attendant, okay let me let me see here and think. Okay, so I became a flight attendant. Um, let's first let me tell you the reason why I wanted to be a flight attendant. I wanted to be a flight attendant because basically I wanted to be able to travel. I wanted to be able to travel to these places that you know on a regular I would never really be able to go to. Um, I just wanted to do something different too in my life. I wanted to try something new. Um, and I've always been in the airline industry. I've worked at a couple of um, places, like at the airport. I've always had jobs at the airport. And so when I would see the flight attendants, I'm just like, why don't I try to do that? You know, like, that's, that was cool. Let me try it out, you know? So the way I became a flight attendant is um, I used to work for this company. I'm not going to say the company name or anything. But um, the company that I used to work for, I used to work on the planes that I'm working on now. So uh, I was able to see everything, I was seeing what was going on, you know, whatever. So when I would be working on these planes, um, you know, I would talk to the flight attendants and I'm just like, how do you like working for this company? How do you like your job? Whatever. And they would tell me, you know, that they liked their job. And then they would say, like, why don't you be a flight attendant? Like, you should do it, you have the look, you have the personality, and yeah, so I was like, you know, maybe I should, maybe I should just give it a try and see, you know, if I'll get hired somewhere. So, I applied for my company, um, I think I applied, I don't know if it was in like June, whatever, so I applied, and I didn't hear back from my company in like, it was probably like three weeks, maybe. I didn't hear nothing back. And when I didn't hear nothing back, I was just like, I was worried. I was like, okay, I don't, I don't think they're gonna get back with me, you know. And so finally, one day, I was at work and I got the email, and I, it was basically an invitation to um, a group interview. So they gave me two days to pick um, which day I wanted to come to the interview or whatever. So, um, I didn't know, like, how to dress, what to do, like, I started watching YouTube videos on, like, how, what to wear for a flight attendant interview, what to say, what not to say, things like that, because I was like, oh, I don't know, like, I've never done this before, I don't know how I should look or what I should say, what I should not say. So, watch videos or whatever, and so the day came for my interview. You know, I was feeling good. I felt like I looked nice. You know, I wore, of course, a nice blouse, nice slacks, nice heels, whatever. Um, and then when I was watching the interviews, I seen uh, where it said, like, they like when girls wear red lipstick. So I was like, okay, I'm going to wear some red lipstick. So I wore some red lipstick to my interview, whatever. So the day of the interview came. It was probably about, I'm going to say, like, 24 people in this group interview. Like, it was a lot of people. So, I, when I got there, I was kind of like, oh, my God. No, I don't know if they're going to like me. Looking at the girls, like, the girls, they look like they could be flight attendants. And I'm like, do I look like I could be a flight attendant? I don't know. Like, what are they going to think about me? So, in the interview, um... Basically, they they had everyone answer. Okay, so there were three questions that you could choose to um, pick from to answer. I think my question that I answered was, uh, what was it? It was like, what? I don't exactly remember what the question was, but I picked one of the questions, and they had you stand up and answer it in front of everybody. So that was kind of like nerve-wracking. I was like, oh, my God, like, I'm scared, like, so I did it, and I felt like I answered the question really good, you know, you know, I, I could say what I, 
what I thought, whatever. So, after they had everyone do that, they, there, okay, so there was, there was two parts of the interview. I think it was two parts, or three. I think it was two parts, yeah. So, they had everyone go outside, and they told us that for whoever was going to move on for the second part of the interview, they were going to leave up a sheet, they had everybody's name on it, and next to it, it was going to say yes or no. So, they had us go outside, sit for a little bit, wait. And so the whole time I'm talking to some of the girls, I'm like, oh my god, I don't, I don't know if they're gonna take me. I'm scared. Like, what if I, what if I didn't answer the question right? This and that, whatever. So it was time for us to go check the board and see if you know you got picked to go to the, the second part of the interview. So I go and look at the sheet. And next to my name, it says yes. So I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like these people, they like me. Like they clearly like me. They want me to go to the second part of the interview. So we get to the second part of the interview. And basically all it really was was they were just going over the history on the company, the pay, how the pay works, um, training, Things of that nature. So, oh, it was three parts of the interview. So, the third part was a sit-down, like, sit-down interview with them. Just one-on-one. You're face-to-face, one-on-one with them. And they're going to ask you questions. So, when I got to that part, you know, they asked me the questions or whatever. Um, And they were, like, simple questions. Like, it was literally, like, questions like, um, how would your... Like, stuff like, how how would your family feel about you being gone all the time? Things like that. Like, easy stuff. So, after that, they, they told you, after we were done with that, they're like, we'll email you and let you know if we picked you. So, you weren't exactly picked um, after that part of, uh, part of the interview. You had to wait a couple of days to get an uh, email back from them. So I'm sitting around, it was probably like, uh, the interviews was on a Friday. So the ladies, they had to travel back to, you know, uh, wherever they, their base, the the base or whatever. So they had to travel back, so you had to wait for them. And I didn't hear anything back until like Friday. No, I'm sorry, Monday. The interview was Friday. I didn't hear anything back from them until like Monday. And it was like late Monday in the afternoon. So that whole time, the whole time, I'm just, like, sitting around the house, worried, like, oh, my God, are they going to pick me? I'm scared. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I got this thing in the bag or what. So, finally, I think it was around, like, 2 o'clock, I got an email. Because I had been checking my email all day, all day, checking my email. And I got the email, and it was just like, congratulations, you've been picked, blah, blah, blah. And our training was going to be in St. Louis, so they, they gave me all the info about where our training was going to be, when it was going to be, when it was going to begin, when it was going to begin, sorry. And so, um, then, so then we had to, you know, just, they gave us a packet of everything that we had to study. We had to start studying um, airport codes and everything. Like we had to study stuff before training because I think it said on the first day we were gonna have a test on that. So I had started studying. My I didn't begin training until like August and I had like probably like two, three weeks to to study until I had to go to training. I was studying the whole freaking time, studying those airport codes and the um, map, whatever the U.S. map, they had to study that. I was studying like crazy because I wanted this so bad. But, yeah, that, that's how I became a flight attendant. Um, if, if you guys want to know anything else about me being a flight attendant, don't be afraid. Hit me up. I'll do a video on it. Um, but yeah, that's my video, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, thank you guys. Bye.